Welcome to the Sundancer 370 outboard. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the integrated technology that's on this boat. We have one of the most integrated boats in the market and the Sundancer is no exception. So we're going to dive into this today. We're going to talk a little bit about the connectivity so you can connect to these displays a couple of different ways. So we can touch them with our fingers. We can use our iPad or we can use our iPhone to get on here and control them. You can set your routes at home, bring them in, connect via Wi-Fi and upload it. I would show you that on an iPad, but these displays aren't registered yet. As soon as we get them registered, we'll put that video out there for you. One of the other things that we've talked about in other videos is the ability to control these displays with the OP50. So the OP50 sits right here. So as I'm navigating down the water, I have full control of my displays right here. So I can switch between both displays. I can zoom in and out on charts. I can make changes and go to different screens. So what we've tried to do is to make the captain's life and the passenger's life easy while this boat is underway. We have digital switching, we have navigation, we also have a depth, and we have radar that's included on this boat, and we also have marine weather. So let's take a look at those items individually. Okay, so right now we're on the digital switching page, but one of the first things I want to talk about is depth. That's one of the most important things that people want to see when they're boating, right? Depth on our boats is called echo, so it's very easy. You touch it here, now I can see that I have the bottom, probably got a fish or something going under us, and then I have digital depth. That's a great function. The other thing that I can do is bring up depth over here. So I have two displays, they're networked together, and I can get depth on either side. And then digital depth is always available. So any screen that I'm on, this depth is gonna be here if I set it up. You can see that I've also set up water temperature because I like to know what the water temperature is in case I want to get in, or my guests want to get in the water. Now let's go and take a look at some of the charts. So there's a lot here. So these boats come loaded standard with CMAP charts. The great thing about this boat is it has radar and it has marine weather. So I can overlay both of those onto my charts. So if I go here, you can see I have radar where I've already overlaid it. Now I wanna go back to my SimRad display. We'll slide down. Now I'm gonna transmit the radar. The nice thing about the radar on this boat is that a Halo 24 it has dual radars built in. We'll get into more of that in just a second. But what I want to do is I want to transmit and I'll exit out. We'll give it just a second. And now you can see that it's starting to populate the land and everything else around us. You can set that radar to harbor mode, which is 200 feet, or you can go out to 48 nautical miles on here. So however you want to look at your chart, you can. Now we'll go back in here. We'll go to the overlay again, now I'm gonna overlay weather. So now the weather is overlaid. Right now we've got a beautiful day out here, the sun's coming up, so you're not gonna be able to see any weather on here, but if you were expecting weather, we can zoom out, and any weather that's in our area is gonna come up. So some other functions that you can do with this are you can set a course. So I'm gonna zoom back in. Again, I could use the OP50 for this if I wanted to. So what I want to do is I want to set my cursor there. I'm going to go here and I want to go new. I want to do a new route. So I want to do this on my own. I don't want it to automatically populate. So what I'm going to do, go out in front of myself here. All right, so I've got one point. So now I'm going to come out and touch my screen, hold down. So now I have a straight line. So now what I want to do is I want to go in here and name it. And we'll name this C Ray just for quick. All right, so now I've got a course. So now I hit save, enter, and I'm ready to go. So now if I want to use my autopilot, I can come over here and hit my autopilot and go straight ahead. Now let's move in to some of the other functions on this boat. So digital switching is one of the things that we've done. We've partnered with our sister company, C-Zone and Simrad to pull this off. So digital switching is no different than a switch on your dash panel. Basically the way digital switching works is it's just a button that's on your display. So it's no different than an on off switch. So you can see that the boat, the way this boat sits, the 370 with the horizon hull scheme and everything looks just the same. We have the coupe windshield. So the boat looks exactly like what you're getting when you buy your boat. We have options to turn our defroster on. We can turn our windshield wiper on and then we can open the port and starboard uh, vents if we need to. As we move down to the overview, you'll see that we get a nice overlay of the boat. You have your stone upholstery, but now you can see more of your functions. So I can see what the port engine battery is. 
I can see center engine battery, house battery, and then I have my bilge pump and all my pump controls here, my blower and running lights, and my anchor light. Now, the important thing to know is all your key functions that you see here are here on your dash panel too. If I turn it on here, so I can turn the running lights on, the running lights light up right here. So it's a really nice redundancy that we have so you can turn it on in both places. So this boat has a ton of lighting on it, as you can imagine. You can see right now that everything is on. We have all of our lights up and going. I can turn each one of these off as I want. Turn off. So you can see the cockpit lights went off. You can see it's still an overlay of the boat and it shows you exactly where they went off. And then I can go into the cabin. So in the cabin, same thing. So I wanna turn some lights on in the cabin. I turn the overhead lights on, they switch on. You can see that they came on on the display. So really nice features to control your lighting and everything, but you also have lighting controls in every area of the boat. So a couple other things to talk about as we go through this is the radar and marine weather. The Halo radar, it has dual radars built in. So you have one that can be 200 feet and one that can be 48 nautical miles out at the same time. The way you can control the transmit is you have A and B, and what that does is you can have two set up on two different displays, or I can come here, I can have a depth finder and a radar set up, or I can overlay it on the charts like I was showing you on the chart overview earlier. So let's go back into radar and let's turn this one on. So this one is set to A. That's how I know which radar I'm looking at. So I'm gonna transmit, and now, so I can zoom out, or I can zoom in so you can see I can go in and out very quickly and I can look around and see that there's no boats around but I can see the defined land that is around us here in the canal. So this is a really great option for those of you who are going to be navigating at night or you're going to be at navigating in the open water. The other thing that comes with the Halo 24 is the velocity track which is more of a collision avoidance radar. So what that does is it will pick up other vessels and if they are transmitting, it'll actually tell you who that vessel is. So if it's a ship or something like that that you see off in the distance, you can click on it and you can get the information if they're registered and they're transmitting. Now, the other thing that this does is if someone is coming at you or is going to be in your heading, the radar will highlight them in red to tell you that you guys are on the same course. If it's not, they will be a blue or a yellow color that they're not in your course, but you can still see them around you. So now I want to talk a little bit about RGBW lighting. So this boat has the new RGBW lighting feature. So one of the things that we can do is I can control all the lights from here. So I want to turn on my lights. You can see that I've already got some of them on. Now I want to start to go through them. I can do the hard top, I can do the engine vents, and then you also have the ability to turn your emblem on on the side. So the whole side emblem is also lit on this boat. That is just white. But your engine vents, your cockpit lights, your underwater lights, everything changes colors. You can have any color you want. So really great feature for those of you who want to entertain and have a little bit of ambiance with your boat. Now let's talk a little bit about Mercury. I went ahead and brought this up. So one of the things that Sea Ray has done is we fully integrated Mercury into our displays. The way we do that is we have a vessel view link behind the dash. I have all my RPMs, I've got my battery voltage, and then we can deep dive a little bit. So here you can see fuel. So now I can tap on fuel. I can see I have 113 gallons of fuel, and then I can see what I've used on the trip and what total fuel flow is. Some of the other nice features that are here with Mercury is, because a lot of times you don't want to be on your engine page, you want to have your radar up and you want to have your chart up and you may have your radar overlaid, but you want to see your engine data. So I can come here and I can see what's going on with my engines and not have to bring a full page up. The other nice thing about Mercury being integrated into Sea Ray is we have our cruise control, troll control, and active trim and sport exhaust. So this is an outboard with the new 300s on it. So what I can do is I can turn the exhaust on or off to give it that throaty sound if you want that. I have active trim, so if you don't wanna focus on trimming your boat up and down, you just hit active trim, the boat will trim itself for you. With the integration of Mercury into this whole system, our autopilot is also tied into this. So what happens is if I fire up the engines, I'm gonna have control of my joystick. Earlier I showed you how to plot a course. So I can come to my joystick and say, okay, this is where I wanna go. I go over here and I hit my autopilot and it's automatically gonna take me there when I put it into gear. We also have Skyhook. What Skyhook does is it uses the GPS puck to hold the boat in position. So if you're waiting to get into under a bridge, 
go through a channel or you're just waiting to get in the marina at the fuel dock, you can put it on skyhook and sit here and the boat will hold itself into position. The other thing you have is you have heading control so I can hit the heading control as I'm going down the water and what that'll do is that'll hold me on that heading. And if I wanna move it, I can press it to the left or the, to the right. And then what that'll do is that'll give me a one degree turn or I can twist the joystick and that'll actually turn me 10 degrees. So those are really great features that are all integrated into this Sundancer 370. We want our customers to have the easiest and greatest experience on the water. So that's why we've worked very closely with our partners and our designers and engineers so that you as a captain and as a passenger feel comfortable navigating the waters. Thank you for joining me on this. If you have any questions, you can always visit us at our website, cray.com.